What's going on everybody, Expert Greatness here, and I got some GCI for you. Today's the first episode of a new series I'm going to be doing. Um, it's actually an old series on uh, my buddy Jeff's channel um, called Fresh Friday. I'm sort of stealing the idea. He, um, he sort of went away from making them, uh, kind of stopped doing the series. So I, I asked him if I could sort of copy him, and he was like, yeah, alright. So, um, so yeah, I'll have his link in the description if you don't already know who he is. Uh, makes good stuff. And anyways... So yeah, first episode, what this is going to be is just me playing some games that are not Call of Duty, since normally I post Call of Duty, and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, some stuff that you, hopefully some games you may have not heard about or you may have heard about, but you haven't seen gameplay from and you're kind of interested in, and um, you know, just kind of chill, um, I'm going to try to have music in the background of every episode, unless the volume in the game is like really, uh, good or entertaining or something or it really adds to the video and you know maybe some videos I'll, I'll do a bit of freestyling you know sing along to it whatever do my thing but uh but this one I'm just sort of going to be commentating over the gameplay um I um I was actually playing on the console which is kind of weird because I haven't played Gotham City Imposters on the console in a while but uh with my leg still being the way it is uh, it's a little bit easier just the positioning the way my setup is to uh, play on the console because I can have my leg lay down on my bed and it's not kind of crammed under my desk and uncomfortable and uh yeah so i i played on the console and it's it's pretty much the same as the pc just a little bit less uh you know the graphics are a little bit not as impressive and the um the gameplay isn't quite as smooth but it's still fun and it's i mean gotham city imposters isn't about like the graphics really and it's not it's about the gameplay obviously because it's an fps but it's more just about the crazy shit that happens in game and the fun times and stuff and uh i mean if you ever play like tf2 it's a lot like that in my opinion um i like i personally i like it more than tf2 um i think a lot of people disagree but that's just me um and it's free to play on pc and it's 15 dollars or 1200 microsoft points i believe i'm not quite sure on the conversion scale there but whatever 15 dollars is on the xbox 360 there on the um, Xbox Live Marketplace or the PlayStation Store, or it's free to play on Steam, which is kind of weird because they made it free to play on the PC. But um, I don't know, man. That's just what they do on PC. It's uh, it's what they do. But um, and this game I actually do pretty well. I got like uh, quite a bit of points. Oh, by the way, this is like kill confirmed for Gotham City Imposters. I'm not sure what exactly the game mode is, but you'll see them drop tags and you pick them up every now and then. Although it doesn't seem as uh obvious for whatever reason when i was watching it back i don't know why that is but you see there i picked up a tag so playing the objective like a boss um yeah i'm using my favorite gun in this game which is his smg um and i believe my secondary gun is the like three burst assault rifle which is also a good gun and i haven't got a chance to try out a lot of the dlc guns yet like the katana and the pistol i have tried out the pistol a little bit and it's like it's alright, but I don't see why you would use it over another primary, you know what I mean? But, um, I don't know, like I said, this game isn't really about, like, the tactics, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a, there's not, like, tons of competitive Gotham City Imposter, at least as far as I know. Um, and that's, I would never play competitive, I couldn't do that. And it's not that it can't be taken seriously or anything, it's just, I don't know. It's just a game that's fun to me, it's got a lot of weird, kinky stuff in it, it's not necessarily made to be perfectly balanced and stuff. You know, there's a lot of weird shit. There's, like, rocket launchers that are crazy as shit. And there's freaking... I don't know. It's just it's just a crazy game, and it's a lot of fun. So you should try it out if you haven't. Um, but, yeah. Um, you may have... Uh, you probably have actually heard of this if you're watching this. Because I used to post this quite a lot. And, uh, and, I don't know. I play it a little bit here and there and stuff. So, I mean... I, a lot of times in this... What I want to do with this series is kind of... Uh, I kind of want to bring like a, I want to, I want to show people to games that they haven't necessarily seen before, they haven't thought were good or stuff, because like, I don't know, like not, I mean, you, sometimes you see a game and you immediately disregard it as like, you know, relevant, like you're just, ah, oh, this can't be a good game for whatever reason in your mind, but I mean, sometimes it is, like, for example, um, I didn't think Saints Row the Third would be a good game, but then I saw like a few videos um, on it that I didn't really necessarily like want to watch, but I ended up watching anyways. And it was I don't know, it just looked like a fun game, so 
Um, and my buddy Jeff, who I got the series idea from, he bought it for me on Steam, so thanks to him again for that. Um, he bought it for me, and I, I don't know, it's a fun game, and I haven't even played it with friends yet. Um, it's pretty fun, though, like, just the campaign. It's got a lot of cool cutscenes and stuff, and it's just a lot of fun. And there's just a lot of games like that, so I don't know. I, it's, it's something I want to do, and I definitely don't want this channel just to be COD all the time, although there will still be COD most of the time. COD. But, um... Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just ate Oreos, and like, when you, when I eat Oreos, my mouth gets really moist, and it creates these bubbles when I speak, and sometimes they, like, get weird, I don't, that's, what the fuck am I saying, anyways, um, this game, I wanted to talk about this, this game is a game that is, um, it came out, and it only had, like, three maps, or four maps, it, it had more than that, it had, like, five or six, and now it has, like, eight, um, it has, about five or six more guns, a ton more equipment and stuff. It's it's a game that I honestly feel it's probably like twice as good now as when it came out, just because of the uh, of the updates they've made and the um, the good work by the development team over at Monolith Productions, which is the uh, development team. I'm pretty sure it's an indie game, but I could be totally wrong. I, I'm not positive on that stuff. I don't know too much about that shit, but um, yeah, it's a uh, you know, it's uh, that's that's one of the things that personally, like, when I went back to it and it had, um, cause I I played it like when it first came out for a while and I was playing it a lot, and then I sort of went back to MW3 and I didn't really play it that much anymore. And when I did go back to it on PC and then also back on console a little bit, like I'm playing it right now on console. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it impressed me and it surprised me that they, uh, you know, they really stuck uh, the the development team really like, you know. They, uh, they were really dedicated to making their game as good as it can be, and they did tons of updates and stuff, and, um, and had a lot of cool DLCs and crap, and I don't know, it's just, it's, I, I like that, I like to see that in a development team of a game that I play, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so good job by the, uh, team at Monolith Productions. <laughs> My nose just got stuffy there. How professional of a commentary, Brandon, fuck you, unsub. Anyways, um, yeah. So, I don't know, like, games like, um, games that have a lot of, uh, support by the developers always impress me, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the commentary, guys, in the end, and as you can see, I got top score, and, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, peace.